Hey, 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 how are you today? Welcome to the lunchroom. I see a participant in the chat room already. It's Mako Mark. He's got his nostrils flaring aside in the, the lunchroom. Smells funny in here. Indubitably, Mark. It does smell funny in here. So how goes it? Happy Saturday. We're doing this three days in a row. I'm going to gonna try to keep this pace up in... Never mind, it's me. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> well played, sir. Well played. Coming at you live from Western New York, the lunch man right here sitting next to the EIC microphone. That's called the e Excellence in Cardboard. It's lunchbox breaks. Here we go. What are we going to do today? I'm thinking, I'm thinking some Jumbo Bowman today. I do have a whole bunch of Sapphire in front of me, though. What shall it be? I also got my shipment of absolute blasters in today. Thanks to Callie Mike. I have uh I've I've stocked the room, the lunchroom full of blasters of absolute. Absolutely. Absolutely. These just came in as I woke up. One find one blast autograph or memorabilia card. Thanks to Kelly Mike, uh, these are rocking and rolling in the lunchroom. Just showed up. Just before my eyeballs came to this spot. So maybe we'll get into that. Maybe I'll open one. I haven't I haven't opened any absolutely yet this year. The uh the hobby I have not obtained a hobby box. Uh, they remind me of the Panini, what was it, plates and patches, not plates and patches. Um, I can't, can't recall the product that it used to be. But I was not a fan, so I did not, I did not pick up any. So, but I did get the hobby back box. All right, so we get, every box has... One blaster exclusive autograph or memorabilia card. Uh, the lunch crew has the mojo to always have an autograph out of every box. Speaking of blaster boxes, the lunch room is going to pull off a break that is a blaster box exclusive. We're going to do the Kelly Mike's. Jeez, the, the name of it tip, fell off the tip of my tongue. It's uh, Kelly Mike's Summer Social. It's going to be bring a dish to pass. It's a dish to pass break. You pay no money to get into it. It's going to be uh, live available. I'm going to put this up probably by the end of today. Pot the, the potluck break is what I've been deeming it. The Kelly Mike's potluck break is coming soon. It's going to come to you. It's going to come to us. Maybe, Mark, maybe you can join in on this. Maybe, maybe not. But uh, I talked about this yesterday a little bit. We're going to pull something off in the lunchroom that's never been done ever before in the cardboard community. It's bring a blaster box to join. We're going to uh, pull in. I'm going to get 15 of us folks together. 15 of us cardboard aholics. Hey, there's Sean. Yeah, yeah, we're going to do a, a cardboard aholic uh, break. Uh, you pay no money to get into the break. All you do is send me cardboard and you're in the break. <laughs> right? Sounds good. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> uh, we're going to do 15 people. Uh, 15 folks have to send in to me, to the breaker, to the man, the man behind the microphone, two blaster boxes of their choice. 
cardboard of your choice. Two boxes of uh, cardboard, and that's your buy-in for the break. And then I, I, we're, we're keeping it at 15. There's 30 MLB teams. So everybody will end up with two random teams. Everybody's going to contribute two blaster boxes of their choice. And we'll leave it open, though. If you want to give more than just a blaster box, hey, 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 I won't be upset with that. Uh, Diamond Dave is already uh, he said he would be interested in it. He said uh, he would actually put a hobby box into it, and I might do the same. And it would be a community break that you would not pay money for. Hey, it's the Sean for Texium Breaks. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I, I'm a little hoarse this morning. I, I got up this morning and drank from the river. You know, it, right? I was out all night. Pretending I was a cowboy, so. <clears throat> it's the AP from PA, Dandy Andy. How do you do? Might grab some cellos to send as bonuses. Chase some red cracked ice. They have retail exclusive to 17. I like it. I love it. I Sean, that is, uh, that is pretty awesome of you. Well, we had talked about, well, when uh, Kelly Mike had brought this up, he had th talked about doing this break as like a New Year's Eve thing. And I'm thinking New Year's Eve, I love it. I love the idea of it. I, I'm a big fan of New Year's Eve. If you don't remember, I don't remember what happened on New Year's Eve here in the lunchroom. Um, I, I would r not recommend you to go to January 1st, 2021 on my uh, video feed. If you know any kind of, any kind of decency in this world, don't listen to what I did January 1st, 2021. But what I think I'll do is I'm going to, we could definitely do one maybe at the end of the year towards the holiday, but I'm thinking we're going to do one like, like through two months or even a month from here, maybe four weeks. I want to do a trial run with it. I love the idea of it. As I've said before, and I'll say again, the cardboard community in the lunchroom is the best there is. You will never find anything. It was good times, New Year's Eve. Yeah. Yes, it was. I remember every second of it. Well. Thanks to the crowd we have in the lunchroom. See, I have not opened these. I have two more boxes of this. So I'm going to try to figure out how to break these up. These are Weston's, Weston Beard hooked me up with two more boxes of sapphire that brings the total in the lunchroom up to three which is an all-time high ever for sapphire i am a bowman addict love the bowman look this is going to be what we're going to do is we're going to i think we're going to make a break with two bowman sapphire boxes <coughs> excuse moi s'il vous plaît But right now, I'm going to try to bring this one up front. I think this is the one we're going to, I'd like to get. I know it's not cheap. We're going to try to rock and roll this one. Take a look at the break room. There's 23 left until we get that filled. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you what, this is the upgrade you're going to get just because I'm the lunch man. We're going to put this on a Saturday morning break. We're going to put a box of Absolute in with this break. It has been upgraded. If you've already bought in, you you're, you already got a uh, token in history. It's going to be a massive break. It's going to be awesome. Now, you just because we're sitting here, we're, we're going to upgrade it. There's a box of Absolute, one blaster exclusive 
Find one blaster exclusive autograph or memorabilia card in this. Well, we're going to find it in the break. That's included. It's just been upgraded. As always, I will be doing some giveaways on top of that. So, happy Saturday. You've got an upgrade. It's like it's like pulling into the drive-thru, asking for a cheeseburger, and the lady says, well, hey, how about some fries to go with that order? I didn't order fries. Tell you what, I'll give you the fries anyways. Buenos dias, Toto, says Rob. <laughs> Buenos dias, Toto. <laughs> so... How you doing? Rob from Texas Breaks. Rob from the heart of Texas coming at you live. How are you? Happy Saturday. Got up on the boob tube. Tampa Bay versus Toronto. Or I should say Buffalo B BJs. It's a, uh, it's a phenomenal thing to have a major league baseball team in western new york and i'm so glad i've experienced it i may try to experience it this coming up weeks weekend too the fact that the toronto blue jays are here in western new york is a massive thing i'm glad i went out there i believe they're playing the texas rangers this weekend i might make another trek out there I, i'm such a baseball holic It would be like, um, hey, it's Carter Sanders. Your Yanks put a spanking on my strows last night. Not cool, lunch. Not cool. Hey, man, I told you. I told you, those Yankees. You cannot deny the Yankee Dankies. <laughs> yes, you can. The Yankees are horrible this year. Been a long time since I've been in the lunchroom. Had to get me two teams in a dream. All right, Carter Sanders coming in, getting not just a team in a dream, two teams in a dream. I'm telling you, Carter, if you're going to put, you're going to set your dreams afloat, it's going to be in the lunchroom, and that's where, that's where you're going to, it's where you're going to be successful. <laughs> Good to see you, man. I was just chatting about how, I'm, I'm trying to give you guys an, an analogy of the fact that in Western New York, we have, we have the Toronto Blue Jays, which you know, normally, if you wanted to go see Toronto, it's a three-hour drive from where I'm at, and you have to cross the border, which is a headache. But right now, for me to watch a major league game, all I got to do is drive 45 minutes. Carter, I believe you're on the West Coast. You're you're in California. Was Anna? Are you in Anaheim? It would be like it would be like saying the Angels are now 45 minutes away from you in a minor league ballpark I'll bet you would do all, everything you could do in your energy to go see the angels it, it's kind of you know I mean the angels suck except for Otani and the blue jays yeah you know they suck they're in the AL East I, I, I hate the blue jays but gosh dang Vladimir Guerrero Oh, you're actually 45 minutes from the Giants. So you're already you're already 45 minutes from a major league ball club. What's all in hit parade? I see those pretty boxes to the right of the screen. What's the deal with those? Well, I'm glad you asked, Carter. Look at these. Just arrived in the mail today. Not from not from a distributor. Not from the Walmart, not from the Target. These have come from ours truly, Western Beard. Western Beard hooked me up with these. I do not have these in a break yet. I do have this one in a break. I have a third one. I bought this one from a distributor, so this one's probably the lousy one. Weston is the man. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> I am not. I am not going to put these in this break right here. But there, I, I got to build one and put it in. Once we break something today, I'll put it in. 
But I have upgraded this to absolute. We're going to have three autos here. The hit parade. I'll tell you what, Sean. I'm glad you asked. Let me show you what is in that hit parade. Okay. It's a limited edition. Now, we've opened this before, and we received a Freddie Freeman card autograph. It is an autograph card. Let's show you uh, what they what they tell us to expect in this type of a box. Right here is the box that you see. This is a 2021 Hip Raid Baseball Platinum Edition, Series 20. And... Sean, I'm glad you asked. Let's take a look at what they're advertising that could be in this box. Right there is an Aaron Judge graded nine and a half a rookie card. That is from 2017 autograph. How about a Clayton Kershaw prospect card from 2006 Bowman Sterling? That could be in there. Uh, how about an Adley Ruchman to 25 Bowman Chrome Auto? Mm-hmm. How about a Ronald Acuna, Bowman's best auto? How about a Bregman and Alvarez, dual auto, flawless? I believe that's, or is that Die Nasty? Yeah, that's Die Nasty. A Juan Soto, but... That could be in there. All of those could be inside this package there. Yes, it's a single hit in a box. It's a single hit, and it's supposed to be a massive hit. Carter would be down to run one of these Sapphire boxes divisional style if anyone else is down for that. Let's see, six... I'll tell you what, I'll give you, I, I will do that. If anybody else is interested in this, it's it wouldn't be a cheap thing. We're looking at, it's, it's three bones easily. It's three bones all day long. If you want to divide that up six ways, I'll tell you what. If you want to do $50 a division, six spots, I'll give it to you at cost for the lunchroom ex exclusive. Carter, that'd be exciting. I'd be, I could do that. I'll, I'll give it to you what I paid. $300. There, if you look on the, look on the distributors, it's a $300 box. It should not be 300 $60 does bring a little jingle to my ear, but I'll tell you what, if we were to put that together, I'd do 50. 50, 50 bucks a division. I'll give you the $10 discount today. We'll give you the $10 Saturday movement. But right now, we're, we're going we're gonna to try to rock this. I didn't bring my phone down here. Let's take a look at how many... Right now, we got 18 left until we fill. 18. Thank you for all the orders. This is definitely going. We're almost halfway on this. Almost halfway. Send out the bat signal. All right, we'll get the we'll get the uh, the signal wingle going on. Let's see, I don't have to, I gotta sign into Twitter on this computer. I don't normally have it. Let's see what we can do.
Steve Wood, how you doing? We're going to do, if anybody's interested, I have a box of Sapphire. There is one auto in this. If I can get six people to get together for uh, $50 a division, we'll do it. I won't, I, I'm not going to, I could do $60 and I would say that would be acceptable on most platforms, but not today in the lunchroom. I'm going to give you the low price of $50 a division. If anybody's interested, I know Carter said he's got one spot. We need five more folks that would be interested. Hey, there it is. Triple V. The Container Castle King. Good and good doing FFF. All right. Happy Saturday. There's Kelly Mike. How are you? Happy Saturday. Hope all is well with you. It is a good day here. We're finally drying up here in western New York. We had so much stinking rain. I believe it's because of a hurricane that has come through. Not the Florida hurricanes, but a East Coast hurricane blowing through western New York. It has been raining like the Dickens all week. Today it's not raining here, so... We're, uh, we're on a uh, dry spell. Carter says he thinks it's... Did I hear about a lunch special? Yes, Triple V. So I'm going to put this on the screen. Uh, this might go before this. Uh, this is up on... I have upgraded this break. I gave it the uh, lunch especial. This break was going to... is $30. It's a Bowman Hobby Jumbo with a hit parade. On top, it has been upgraded with an absolute blaster. There's one hit in there. Okay, so that's going. But chat room exclusive, if you're interested, let me know in the chat. I'll start putting it up. $50 of division for a box of Sapphire. You'll you'll only see this here in the lunchroom on a Saturday only. You'll get the cardboard you want, the cardboard you desire. Sap. Sapphire, Sapphire Edition Bowman. We're going to do $50 a division. Carter is starting it off. Oh, hey, Sean, that's cool. Interested. I'm going to put that up on the screen, actually. Steve Wood wants one. All right, so that's four left. We've got two takers. I'm going to go 2021 Bowman Sapphire chat only break. Not going to hit the website. It's going to be six spots. Yeah, if you want triple V. So you, if you're interested, you want in, uh, $50 lunch bucks. Send $50 lunch bucks. That would take us down to three unless you wanted more than one spot. Hey, it's Alan McClellan. Uh, we're going to do a little Bowman Sapphire only, chat only break. Let me get it up on 21. We may, may be close to being full. Let me... Try to get my act together. Divisional. Six spots. $50 per spot. Triple V is in. All right, so there we go. We got three. We're 50% on the way. We're 50% there. I now have the advertising banner up on the screen. It looks good. It looks professional. My secretary did that. Thank you, Alexa. Yeah, Alan, it's a, it's a uh, Bowman Sapphire one box. There's only, what is there, 40, 32 cards. But... 
Every card in the lunchroom will get top loaded. 2021 Sapphire Break Divisional, six spots, $50 per spot. That's a lunchroom exclusive in the Saturday. I also have on the website a uh, jumbo box with Hot Hip Parade that has been up to, updated with Absolute. Take one, pleaser. Dandy would like one. So that's going to be... Let me get this up on the screen. Wow, can I get her LinkedIn information? <laughs> All right, let's get this up. That's going to be... Yes, Alan is in. Oh, this going this is going fast. This is uh this is good stuff. All right, let's get this up on Bowman Sapphire Chat Divisional. 7 10 21. Every card will be top loaded. It's only going to be 6 spots. <laughs> Man, what a good idea. Whose idea was this? You know, You know, I, I'm pretty sure it was all mine. I, I I dream these things. See, I lay in bed early in the morning, and I think of these cardboard ideas, and I'm like, boy, you know what Carter would really like? A divisional break. No, I, I will not take credit. This is Carter's break all through and through. So we're going to put Carter up into the gung hole spot here. We open up the scoring for the two. Right and now. <laughs> Some genius. I right, gotta put Carter in here first up. Someone with all the brains. <laughs> Carter Sanders, I uh, Steve Wood said he's in. Uh, Alan McClellan said he's in, and then uh, Dandy Andy, Alan McClellan. I forget how to spell your last name, Alan McClellan, and then Dandy Andy, the AP from PA. That is four people. One, two, three, four. Oh, and Triple V. My bad. Triple V. I did not forget about Triple V. One more. Triple V would take one. So we got Carter, Steve Wood, Allen, Dandy Andy, Triple V. That's five spots. I did not forget about Triple V. He is in there. The man, the myth, the, the guy from the Container Castle. Defending our freedom. Send friends and family. That yeah yeah that would be, that would work, Steve. Uh, just send it. Just go ahead if you want to send fifty dollars. It's going to be fifty dollars a division. Send that through PayPal, friends and family. I did get Andy's. <laughs> you want the Sandman? I'll get. I'll hook you up the sand. Sander Rooney. It's all good, Sean. You can still hang out, though. We always, uh, always an open invitation in the lunchroom. I've got on the TV right now. Top of the six is Tampa Bay versus Toronto Blue Jays. Tampa Bay is. Putting a hurting on the Blue Jays. What a great game. So, one more spot remains. Hey, brother. Link the PayPal you want me to send for some reason when I type it in. It shows with two different emails. All right. Wander has not lived up. Yeah, Carter. What about Wander Franco? How about Wander Franco? Wander Franco had a great showing his first day. 
His first day off, he hit a dinger, right? I hit a double and a dinger. And that was it. That was it. All right, here's my here's my PayPal. I don't really have a link. If you could copy pasta that, Alan. Bro, he doesn't look overmatched, and his batting average on balls in play is something like 240, which is almost 100 points lower than league average. I'm buying everything I can, Franco. Well, you got deep pockets right now because Wander Franco stock is still high. It's way high. Sent on Twitter. Uh, I don't have my tweeters in front of me. He hasn't been clinic bad, but it's been pretty bad for the number one overall prospect. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know, Carter. I, I agree with you 100%. Everybody was expecting, you know, the next coming of Mike Trout, the next coming of Mickey Mantle, the next coming of... Put, place your favorite ball player of all time right here. He was supposed to set the MLB on fire. He did his first game. His first game was hype, hype, hype. But uh, what is he? The last time I... I don't know where he's at right now. Let's check uh, Wander Franco's MLB stats. What's he batting? He's batting like 190. He's batting 211. He's had 57 at-bats. He's had 12 hits. So he's at 211. I mean, it's not terrible. It's not terrible, but you know who's blowing up? That is the the sensation is Showtime Otani. How about that Otani time? Personally, you think Vidal Brujan is better. Did this break just close out? Did it just close out? We still have one more triple V. Um, this debit, we need one more spot and then it's closed. Uh, fifty dollars, six spots, fifty dollars per spot. Uh, it is not closed yet. I got the one spot taken here. I should take move that. Otani hit a 463-foot bomb last night at T-Mobile. Yeah, that guy, the guy is doing superstar stuff right now. Where did I see this? Um, he, when he was in the Japan League, he hit a hole through a, a, a Astrodome. <laughs> I call it an Astrodome. I don't know what you would call it, but a, a, a dome. What do you call that? He hit the ball so hard in Japan, he hit the ball right through the top of the building. Four hundred sixty-three foot bomb is an amazing hit. The guy is crushing those balls, and you know what? He should. How tall is he? He's like seven foot tall. Dude is a big dude. Yeah, Otani is pretty amazing. We are we are on this divisional chat only break. We got Sandman, we've got Steve Wood, we got Alan McClellan, Dandy Andy, and Triple V. Nine eleven. Yeah, he actually drove a ball through the roof of a small converted sports arena. I mean, it was only like three hundred ninety foot shot, but to have that kind of force and hit a ball three hundred ninety that is hard is crazy, right, Alan? You know what I'm talking about? Otani hit it through the roof of this building. I saw this uh, video of it. It's like, man, what a beast. Let's see if I let's see if I can find it. Oh, Tani hits ball through roof. Yeah. There we go. It's a Tokyo dome. There we go. There we go. Four years ago. Four years ago. This audio This guy's gonna hit it. 
Boom! Where'd it go? It never came down. It never came down. Right through the roof. Here's a here's a video. Hoof. I guess he didn't puncture a new hole, but I mean that's a hell of a hit. That's a hell of a hit. That's a that's that's a ball player right there. You know, and that that Tokyo Dome. Did, if you saw that, I, I was talking about this with my neighbor yesterday about how uh, Japan. I'm not I'm not very versed in Japan things, or Asian culture, but we both agreed baseball is very big. It, baseball is pretty much the premier sport in Japan, I believe. And we were talking a little bit about Ichiro. Like, uh, well, Ichiro played eight years in Japan before he came over here. Now closed, yes. Baseball is way bigger in Japan than it is here. <clears throat> you know, you, you know, Japan doesn't have uh, American football. It, baseball is huge there. Uh, so I've heard. I mean, I've never been there myself. So, I mean, I'm just going by what I've been told. Triple V, did you take the last spot? He did. It's closed. Two spot magic. All right, Triple V, you got it. Let's do this. Let's rip some cards. The man, the myth, the container castle king. Well, Triple V, Triple V just closed this out. How you doing, Charles Atha? But right now, we're going to, right now, chat only break. This is thanks to Western Beard. This is a Western Beard exclusive. We're going to open a box of Sapphire. And it's going to be just six, six spots only. We're going to do a divisional. But on top of that, we also have a Bowman Mega for $30 along with a uh, Hit Parade. And it's been upgraded with a blaster box of Absolute. If you haven't gotten a spot, get a spot. Sorry you missed out on that, Charles. It did close out. We got all our six spots. It's a divisional break. We're going to take a look at that. I do have another break up on the website with a jumbo box of Sapphire and a mega box. So there is more Bowman Sapphire in the lunchroom. Let's, let's see if we can get some magic here. All right, six spots, six spots. Let's get these up here. See if I can remember what a division is. AL East, AL Central, AL West. West. There we go. There we go. There are our divisions. So let's go ahead and roll the dice. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate this. We're going to get you guys some sapphire here on Saturday afternoon. And on top of that, maybe some. Look at this. I can't believe what I'm seeing here. 
Two threes. There's something magical happening in the launcher right now. Yesterday, I rolled two twos. I rolled snake eyes before that. We got two threes. We got six the hard way. We got the six on the hard roll. What's going on in the lunchroom? I got magical dice. It's like the magic beans. If you ever went a Jack in the Beanstalk story, this is some magical stuff that's happening here. So let's uh let's not let it end now. Rolled a six for six divisions. You know what I'm saying, Carter? You know what I'm saying? There's some kind of higher power happening here that's out of my realm. You know, I've got some I've got some superpowers. Without a, without a doubt. I, I've always told... Uh, this is a joke that usually is told uh, in my... Uh, this is a joke I usually tell in my diversity training. I go, well, I, I've been known to be a foreigner. I am a foreigner. I have Russian hands and Roman fingers. So let's, uh, let's go on... Uh, here we go. Let's get you to the random.org. Let's not make it so big. Let's bring it back. Bring it back to reality. Let's get you six folks a spot in this break. <laughs> you like that, Alan? What would you think about that? Alan McClellan. <laughs> I, McLaren, Alan, I'm going to call you McLaren, Alan, <laughs> McLaren, uh, is that better? <laughs> All right, six spots, we're going to go six times, let's get you guys into the randomizer six times, thank you folks. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's go six times. One, two, three, four, some five alive and pick up six. It sticks. We got Triple V on top, Triple V on the bottom with his massive over strength, strong, strong shoulders. You're in a Triple V sandwich right now. How about that? We'll put you down here. Here's the randomized list, and let's get the divisions. We'll copy pasta them into the randomizer. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, dis. NL Central down to the AL East. Boom shakalaka. My condolences and my congratulations all at once. Let's bring that over to the other screen. And I am open for trades. A chat room exclusive, a Bowman Sapphire break, divisionals. You have the AL West. Alan McClarelin. <laughs> what do you think here? So, Triple V with the NL Central, Alan McClarelin. McClar uh, clearly, clearly, I can see the rain, Lorraine is gone. AL West, Dandy Andy with the AL Central, Sander Rooney, that also AKA the Sandman, NL West, Steve Wood could, if he would, got the NL East, Triple V with the AL East. Allen is open to trades. All right, I got to grab myself a coffee. I just rolled out of bed, believe it or not. Actually, it's highly believable, but I'll, BRB.
All right, we're back. I hope you find a Blaze Jordan and Austin Martin for Triple V. Here we go. Kelvin Alcantara, first Bowman for New York Yankees, is another big one for the East. I just got a blue shimmer of his the other day. All right, well, I don't see any break, any uh, trades. Oh, uh, breaks, yeah. Don't see any trades, so let's get into this. Every card in this box is going to be top-loaded. This is a chat room exclusive Bowman Sapphire. Thank you all for uh, joining in. Hope you're having a good Saturday. I'm having a good one. That's it. All the Sapphire. Should be one auto coming out. This is some great looking stuff. If you want to get into another break, I got this one. This one's below halfway. Hey, no problem, Carter. I appreciate the support. You guys are the reason why I'm here. And uh, without you guys, I couldn't do what I'm doing. Um, I have, I have a lot of fun with this. I, I kind of steered away from this for a couple of months. I, I was kind of uh, doing it once and twice a month. I'm now back on the train. I, try, I was thinking about just ditching the whole cardboard scene. But I think I'm back. I think I'm back. I'm back into the passion. All right, well, let's go. Let's get all this stuff into the, the cardboard you deserve, into the hands you want. Wow, these are gorgeous. Look at these things. Everyone is a Sapphire Edition, Cracked Ice, whatever you want to call it, Atomic, Shiny, Brilliant. That is a great NL East right there. Steve Wood, that one is yours. Let's put it into the top loader it belongs in. Pete Crow Armstrong, well, he was uh, number 19th overall in the 2020 draft. We'll see if he ends up being awesome. Let's put them like this. There we go. For the Cleveland Steamers, Tyler Freeman. Allen just wants one big Maximo. And this is where I do bad. I, I don't know my divisions very well. But Cleveland, I believe, is AL Central. That one's yours, Andy. The Freeman. Arizona Diamondbacks. Brick Jarvis, Arizona, not having a great year. Not not where they were thought they were going to be at the beginning. They are in the bottom of the pile. They probably have the first pick in the MLB draft. I got a great hit. I'm on delay. Right here. That's the one you wanted. Maximo Acosta, Bowman first, Sapphire. That's a big one. That's a great card there. Bowman first, Maximo Acosta, Bowman Sapphire. Wow, nice looking card. Uh, that's a great looking card. That one should go up onto your bedroom mount right there. 2019, signed as a free agent. Through the Rangers scouting program. Yeah, I think that's uh, I think that paid for the break right there. That's a good card. Maximo Acosta, Texas Rangers. Texas Rangers. I always get this messed up. Uh, Texas Rangers are that is A L West. I, I don't understand why Houston and Texas are in the same division, but that's how the MLB is. All right, there's one pack down. He is the reason for the AL West, huh? Let's see if we can get you more. I see an orange one coming. All right, here you go. Here's your Boston. There's an orange card on its way. Good luck to the orange. Oh, I saw. I saw who's getting it. CJ Chatham, 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 Boston. That is the AL East. Uh, 
Jordan Blazovic for the Minnesota. I believe they are AL Central. Houston was in El Centro, remember, for the longest time. Kind of like Milwaukee was AL Central. But then again, a few years back, Atlanta was NL West. Yeah, I, I, I do remember that. I like how they got him set up now. Well, it used to be a big thing, the eight. Oh, wow. Out of 75. AL Central, Andrew Vagna. I know he was called up. Is he still is he still up or do they they send him back down to the farm? That's a gorgeous card. AL Central. How about a dandy Andy, the AP from PA? I gotta have my cowbell, baby. That's a huge one. That's a ho that's a huge one. Uh, actually, it's third overall pick, Alan. I thought it was the second. He is third overall. Third overall. He was the number three pick in 2019. Big card there. That's a big card. Is he still up? What's the Andrew Vaughn situation? Let's take a look. Andrew Vaughn stats. He's batting 249. <clears throat> so he's he's about average. He was fast-tracked because of injuries. I'm sure with Eloy and Robert coming back, he's getting his options used. How about C.J. Abrams for Sa Slam Diego, the Swagonators? What a comeback they had the other night. Maximum Scherzer is still melted down in San Diego's field. That's a great-looking card. There we go. There's NL West. Sandaruni, that one's your Sandman. All right, next pack. We still have more packs to go. More White Sox love. How about Matthew Thompson? Get him into a top loader. Matthew Thompson looks like a hurler. 45th overall in 2019. Round two. Just like I said, I don't understand how it could only be it could be round two. Oh, wait a minute. That would be, make sense. 45th. Second round pick from 2019. Matthew Thompson. Another hurler. D.L. Hall. For the B-Town Orioles, they need them right now. The pitching stinks in Baltimore. Yeah, Carter, you you, you must uh, you saw that game, huh? The relief pitcher hits a grand salami. To give up a grand slam to a relief pitcher on his first big league at bat. Yeah, oh man, what a what a what a game that was, huh? And San Diego went on to win that game. And not to mention anything, you're, the Nationals are a pretty darn good team. I mean, I don't know how they are. Twenty twenty one, they may not be the twenty nineteen caliber. But they have a ring from 2019. They, they, they're a solid team. We got Juan Soto. Scherzer's a hell of a pitcher. They had him down to, what, well, they had a shutout going until that relief pitcher got up to bat. Another Vogna. But uh, <laughs> Maximum Scherzer, I think, is still on that field. He uh, He definitely lost some cells. 
Scherzer isn't supposed to give that up. Yeah. <laughs> those, those guys didn't have to be good pitchers towards the end of their career because they were your best bench bat regardless. Good point, but Scherzer isn't supposed to give that up. I agree, Carter. That's probably the reason why I pitched at a pretty high level. My cousin is an actual world champion, and he'll be the first to tell you. Sometimes you take people for granted. He grooved one and paid. Well, I'm going to blame the, the spider tack. Bryson, stop for the NL East, the Philly Willies. Here you go, Steve Wood. That one is coming to you. Every one of these cards are top loaded because every one is gorgeous. Thanks, thanks guys, for filling this one. Nice chat room break here. Still got a, a auto coming. So, <laughs> the spider tag. Uh, this is where I stand on the spider tag, the, the sticky situation. I believe the pitchers need some kind of grip, okay? If you're throwing something through the air at 100 miles an hour, if not 190 miles an hour, you know, have you ever been in a car and gone 90 miles an hour? I have. And you know what I did? I I clawed my fingers into the dashboard. Um, I've actually driven a car at 100 plus, and it was definitely against the law. It was highly illegal. It's fast. It's fast. And to throw something that fast is insane. The pitchers need grip, okay? I want the pitchers to have control of that ball. If you're trying to throw, you're trying to fling something out of your fingertips at 100 miles an hour and there's no traction on your fingers, you're going to hit, you're going to, you're not, you're going to miss. It's going to happen. It's inevitable. Give the pitchers some kind of substance. The pitchers need substance. Now, the question is, what substance should they use? Is it spider tack? I don't know. I'm not a pitcher, but they need something. I've driven at 140. It's insane. I had a, uh, there's Nick York from Boston. That's true. He got thrown a beach ball and jumped all over it. Zach Grenke hit a ball off me in 97 that still hasn't landed. I thought he looked goofy and lanky, and I paid. Zach Grenke is awesome, man. He's, he may be past his prime, but he's still in the MLB. I, lo I love watching him pitch. Seth Beer, you actually pitched to Grenke, Alan? That's awesome. Boogers. <laughs> Dandy Andy says, let him... <laughs> Let them use an organic substance. Use your snot. <laughs> the old snot ball coming your way. Seth Beer, Arizona Diamondbacks. There's a great video on John Boy Media. I, I refer to John Boy quite a bit. He is uh, he's my mantra when it comes to uh, baseball. And he talks about how Grinky's one of the weirdest players ever to play the game. It shows him just kissing his glove. Oswald Peraza, AL East. There you go, Triple V. There's a nice atomic sapphire card for your container castle. Right, Carter. I just moved to Florida, thought I was big crap coming from this New Orleans high school, ran into this team from outside Orlando. He went in, he went on to two hit us and hit another home run later. Wow. If batters can use pine tar for grip, why can't pitchers? I'm all about it. The, the pitchers need grip. Baseball, MLB, who, who's it? Manfred, Man, Manfred, Sanford and son. Bum, 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 bum. Um, Manford, the guy in charge of baseball, needs to give these pitchers some control. They need they need substance. Now, I don't think it should be Gorilla Glue. I don't know if Spider Tack is it. I don't know what that substance is, but you gotta give them something. I think what 
I think the big thing is what I was reading was they're using suntan lotion and rosin. I guess if you mix that together, you get a real sticky substance. Oh, he is super weird and super irritating, and it's completely inadvertent. He's on the spectrum. I don't know what he has, but he just is. Man, this year didn't have a lot of Bowman first, but it is just loaded with studs. Was Hassel in 19th pick or like the 11th pick? Oh, the Hassel? Hassel, he was, he was first round. Uh, eighth overall. Eighth overall. NL West. There you go, Sandman. Robert Hassel. Who cares what people use? It's a game. Let the pitchers use sticky stuff. Let steroids back in. It just makes it way more. There's another thing, Carter. I'm with you. I'm with you 100%. Let the let them get the I let the PEDs flow. Performance enhancing drugs. And if anybody tries to tell me any different that football players don't use it, no humans grow up to be as big as those football players. Here we go. This is a quick one. This is my favorite. This is my favorite site to uh, look. If you've never been to John Boy Media, he's a big baseball junkie. But here, here we go. Here's the thing on Grinky. It's hilarious. We're going to watch it real quick. Whatever your mess, Cascade Platinum says yes. Now with 50% more cleaning power. Get powerful protection from Wi-Fi network oh, we're gonna get X5 the advanced security. Can your internet do that? You gotta pay for it, so. We got baseball's biggest and most beautiful weirdo on the bump, Zach Granke, little glove wipe, little glove kiss. This one's brought to you by DraftKings. Download the Sportsbook app. Use promo code JOHNBOY when you do. So Granke gives his glove a kiss, looks up, says, who am I facing? Eddie Rosario? Eddie Rosario? Okay, okay. I know what to do with that. Let me give that glove another kiss. Mwah. Love you, glove. You know what? How about another kiss just for the heck of it because I missed you already. Ma. Okay. Don't want to throw that pitch. No. I don't want to throw this that pitch. I want to throw this pitch for ball one. Doesn't get it. Misses a little bit. Now Granky goes to stretch it. Ah. Ah. Oh. Ah. My shoulder. Ah. He's like, you know, I need to throw a warm up over here. Throws one pitch. Fires. It says, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. Eddie Rosario is like, what? What? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> no, really, what just happened? What was that? And they're like, oh, well, he threw, what? He threw a warm-up pitch? He's like, I don't know, it seems like head games. Is that legal? i never seen a pitcher do that. So watch it again. He gets the ball back. His shoulder's a little stiff. I mean, it makes sense. His shoulder's a little stiff. But it seems like this should be more of a thing, like time, like call time, like blue, can I throw it? He's just like, no, nah, I'm going to throw it. One throw, nods, good. And Rosario wasn't looking up, so he just heard the ball. He's like, what was that? And I don't know what they would have told him. Like, yeah, well, he was—he just threw it to us. Do you guys know why? No, we don't know why either. Guessing he was maybe testing something out. I don't know. Be cool if he just was testing out a new grip right there that he liked. Ooh, a little glove kiss. Ooh, change up. Granky says, yeah, let's do that. And then that is rolled over to third and he's out. And Eddie Rosario the whole time is like, I think I got got here. Like, huh, I think that. He was playing some head games with me. I think he just got me. So the next time <laughs> he steps into the box, he's like, I'm playing games of my own. I am going to take this first pitch no matter what. Oh, little glove kiss for Granky there. And he just starts wiggling the bat as Granky's going through the windup, letting him know, do what you please. I'm just going to take this pitch. Strike. Thinking, shit, okay, you're better at the head games than me. <laughs> then Granky, oh, a little, a little glove kiss there. Granky goes with the 60-something mile per hour curveball, and Rosario just tosses the bat head out it, and sometime, somehow it's a home run, and he's laughing about it. So in the end, who won the battle of wits? Granky, he always does. Granky always does. He's just kissing his glove. He's telling you what pitch is coming. He's sitting on the mound when he's tired, and he's going to throw practice pitches to see if his shoulder hurts whenever he pleases. And you can't do a thing about it. But what you can do is you can go to DraftKings and you can bet on the there Twins go. to hit the over. Especially the if they're in. Love it. Love that guy. <laughs> Granky. <laughs> Just a weirdo. It's funny you brought that up. Rosario turned into 1840s prospect. I've been hornswoggled. There's a doings that transpire. And... Yeah, John Boy. If you don't watch John Boy, you got to check out John Boy. John Boy is great baseball entertainment. 
He loves he loves the baseball. All right, here we go. J Rod's gonna be our next card for Seattle. <laughs> it's pretty funny. He did a practice pitch in the middle of the Rosario. I was like, what's going on here? <laughs> J Rod. What's up with J Rod? He was supposed to come in and be the best thing ever. And he broke his wrist last year. Signed in 2017 as a free agent. When are we going to see J-Rod? Espino. Danielle. Oh, and here comes the hits. The hit is here. It's a Bowman first Sapphire. Is it good? I don't know. Ismail Mania. Bowman first. Sapphire. Hello, Papa Bear. I gotta have more cowbell, baby. Who that, Carter? Twenty nineteen is a free agent. He's he did not get drafted. Congratulations on that, Carter. Nice card. I don't know what the Mina hype is, but that's a Bowman first auto sapphire. That is a big, big hit. Anything sapphire Bowman first is gonna be huge. That's a great looking card. Congrats. El Hiros Montero is the next one. Paid for your spot. It's an international signe. Where does he come from? Where does uh, Mina come from? He is Santa Domingo. Santa Domingo, Dominican Republic. There we go for the Dirty Birds. Ele Horace Montero. St. Louis Cardinals. We still got three packs to go. Might might have fleshed out all the fun stuff, but let's see what else we can get. Let's see if we can get an Austin Martin out of here. How about Eddie Diaz, Bowman first, Sapphire. I like that one for the Rocky Tops. That's NL West. How about there? Another one for the Sander Rooney. Had to shop for the wife. Now, wait a minute. I'm just saying, Andy, I live with a woman. I have one of those wife things. Mrs. Lunch does not let me shop for her. How do you shop for your wife? I don't I don't get it. How about Garot Mitchell for the best team in the MLB, says Brahms. Garrett Mitchell for the Brew Crew. How about them Brewers this year? Brewers really have a playoff team. I like that one. I like Garrett Mitchell. He was uh, first round pick 20th. She's making pasta sale and needs some ingredients. Ah, okay. Yeah, Andy, you got this one. You got you got this Andrew Vogna to 75. That's to you, AP. Tell tell your wife you <laughs> you've got some ingredients for her salad. Yeah, Blaze Jordan. That's a big one there. Bowman first. Boom. Blaze. Triple V. The Container Castle King. Defending our freedom and the recipient of some gorgeous cardboard. Love it. Like it. Want some more of it. There we go. Blaze, blaze, blaze. This kid's supposed to be a stud, isn't he? He's picked 89th overall, round three in 2020. Gatorade Mississippi player of the year. That Purdy. <laughs> that is. That's a that's a good one. How about that, Blaze? That Purdy. Have any of you guys ever watched the YouTube video of him hitting major league bombs like 450 plus when he's 13? Blaze Jordan? No, I have not. Taryn Vavra. 
for the Rocky Tops. Favra. Varvra. Vavra. 96 overall in round in 2018. Vavra. Favra. Shenanigans. All right, we got two packs to go, folks. Two packs. Triple V, that one is very well centered, and that's been a bit of an issue this year. That's a good card, bro. Yeah, man, look it up. You'll see where the hype of this kid comes from. I'll have to check it out. Hi on Il Choi. I've, this guy always shows up in the Bowman product for, in the lunchroom. I pulled the cayenne printing plate of this, this kid. If it's a kid, I'm probably older than him. Let's see. He was signed in 2018 as a free agent. He was born in OO in Seoul, Korea. So, yes, I am older than him. Only by 24 years. Hyun Il Choi, Bowman first, Sapphire for the NL West, the LA Dodgers. He might have a spot on the bump. Uh, considering the vacancy Trevor Bauer has created in the pitching, the bullpen over there. Austin Hendrick, Cincinnati Reds. Is he related to Brett Varva? <laughs> Varva. There we go. What's this kid? 12th overall in 2020. Hendrick. Round one, first round pick for the Cincinnati Reds. Cincinnati Reds, I believe, are NL Central. Triple V, that one yours. AL Central, the Beard, Jimmy Beard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Bauer. <laughs> 29th, though, 110th overall, James Beard. How about that, Bauer? Well, I've I've already deemed what Bauer was doing. He was giving vertigo to ran, not random people, to folks. He's a vertigo inducer. Jordan Adams. If you don't have vertigo and you want vertigo, give Trevor Bauer a call. If it's, you know, I will say this, though. Jordan Adams, that is AL West. There you go, McLaren. The Fifty Shades of Black and Blue. Was he doing it? I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't there. <laughs> I mean, hey, I'm, I, I'm a, I got the face for radio, but, you know, Trevor Bauer doesn't give me the midnight calls. Um, you know, I, I might not be his type. I will say this, and I believe in this wholeheartedly, and this is how I raise my children. This is how the household is. Innocent until proven guilty. So right at this moment, it's allegations. And I'm going to say this right now. This is my thought, my first thought when I heard it. Did it happen? I don't know. Could it have happened? Yeah, it could have. Yeah, but I don't know. So he says he didn't do it. She said he did. You know, I, I kind of do this uh, like back of the Kobe Bryant thing. I remember Kobe Bryant was accused of uh, molesting some girl in a hotel. <sighs> I, I I don't know if this is the same thing. Apples to apples, oranges to oranges. I still believe Kobe Bryant didn't molest a girl. I, I bet Kobe Bryant had his way with that girl. But she, I would say she probably wanted to be there. Now, to put it in reverse, set it up to this Trevor Bauer standard. <laughs> Takes two to tango. Apparently, it happened twice, and that's where the big question is. If it happened twice, well, then the girl might have liked that kind of stuff. I'm going to be that guy like Dave Chappelle and believe in R. Kelly did it. I'm going to need his grandmother of two forms of ID. <laughs> You're going the reverse opposite of me. He's 
You know, Bauer's got text. Oh, I didn't realize that. I heard he had text messages. But if he's got text messages where she's asking for that, you know what? I don't know where you go. I don't think, you know what? If some girl texted me and wanted me to uh, kick her in the eyeball, I still don't think I would kick her in the eyeball. Just saying, that's just a... Uh, that's just how the lunch man rolls. All right, here we go. Here we go. Last pack mojo. Let's get it. Braden Shoemake for the NL East. He was... Was he a first runder? Oh, I don't think so. I think Shingaliers went first. I think he's a second rounder. 20... 20? 2019. Oh, he was a first runder. 2019 first runder. Shady Langoliers was 2020. Jordan Grishon's Toronto BJ's. Let me get that one of the Band Aid brand relic. There we go. Jordan Grishon's for the Buffalo BJ's. And Cleveland Steamers with Nolan Jones with a sock puppet on his hands. Nice. Zunino got a dinger. I got Zunino on my fantasy. Turd baseman, Nolan Jones. And Nolan freaking Gorman is our last card of the box. Thanks, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that. That was nice. You can thank Weston Beard for the low, low pricing on that. All right, let's do a quick uh, recap here. Every card in that box was top loaded. How many was in a box? 32, 32. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eighter, niner, tenner, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fitting, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Austin, Massachusetts in on the run. It's now five to two, the bottom of the eighth. Tampa Bay having their way with Toronto. Gritchick did not pull that one in. Five to two for the Tampa Bay. And then 31. Vagna and the hit of the break. 32 himself, Ismail Amina. Hey, it's Brems. How about that Tampa Bay team, huh? Thank you, everybody, for filling that. You are right. Downtown Gary Brown did love Nolan freaking Gorman. That is that is a good ending. Rip in peace, downtown. Here's Arena with the ribby in the bottom of the eighth. Randall Gritchick couldn't get to it. Man, how about Tampa Bay, though? Here's the story of Tampa Bay. Who's their superstar? Is it Ayers Arena? Maybe. Is it Austin Meadows? Maybe. Oh, they got Ayers Arena at second. Reese McGuire just threw him out. Squatting behind the plate. And Ayers Arena, take a seat. What a throw, man. We 
Just tagged out Ayers Arena trying to steal second base. Oh, Sue, Sue, Sue to go. Oh, no. Is that Sue to go? No, G-Man Choi is up to bat. Lunch, do I have another break I can do in chat while we're waiting? Hungry for some cardboard. The the superstar, the, you're welcome. Good chick was the man picked right before Mike Trout. Do I have another break I can do in chat while we're waiting? I'm hungry for some cardboard. Where are we at on the uh, the break? Let's take a look. I might get that up on the screen here. 17 left on the uh, the big boy here that's been upgraded. Here's the break. We got 17 to go. You want to do something in the in the chat? Hmm. What could I do here? If you guys want to do a divisional one, you want to do another divisional one? Division or draft? Hmm. But I don't know where this came from, but I just found this on my arm. Got a Mario sticker. Hold on, un second, un momento, por favor. All right, I got something for you. It's not much. It's not much. It's not a big break. It's going to be a cheaper one. But it's going to be a slab. Oh, let's clean house. Let me think how I'm going to price this. Hold on. I want to do something... I want to do something, um, something unconventional here. Clean some house. We could do.
All right, here we go. I got some of this sitting around from last year. 2020 Diamond Kings Hobby Box. Two autos or memorabilia. I got some Panini love. On top of that... Hey, it's Randy Dean. How you doing? I'll throw in a clearly authentic, unopened. I have not touched it. I've had this sitting around. I bought a case of this last year. Still got a box. I still got a box of clearly authentic. Cleaning house. We can revisit 2020. We could do a divisional one. And uh, if you guys are interested, we have six spots. I don't know if you're interested. Six spots. If I could get, it would be 30 bucks a spot. Six spots. If I get 180 out of it, that'd be good. Now, if you were to price these, this is a lot more than 180 bucks. If you go to a blowout for 2020, you're looking at, this is a $250 break. What do you think, Brems? Is that a good one? I'm going to say, if I get a 180 out of it, it'll be $30 a division. One hobby box of Diamond Kings 2020. One box of Clearly Authentic. Uh, $30 a division. That would be the chat, the chat filler, if you guys are interested. Carter said he'd be in for one. Brems would be in for one. Let me make another uh, spreadsheet for you all. But in the meantime, if you want in on some juicy stuff, I got you guys down. Brems and Carter in for one. If you want to get a jumbo bum Bowman, three autos per box, a hip parade, that's a that's a big card. Auto, that's a auto, guaranteed auto. And an upgrade for absolute. That's $30 a spot. That's on the website. There's 17 left until we fill. But in the meantime, we're going to do a little chat filler. We're going to do a divisional. Keep this sip, super simple. Divisional, six spots, $30 a spot. You get a box of 2020 Diamond Kings and a clearly authentic. Three hits. Three hits. Three guaranteed hits. If you are interested, let me know. Put it in chat. We'll put up. I got two two takers so far. Carter's already sent the lunchbox. He's in. He's sold. What is this one? Triple V's back. So this is what I'm doing, Triple V. Uh, this is a chat filler only. This is a retake to 2020. Um, two boxes. I got a box of 2020 Diamond Kings. Two autos or memorabilia. And a clearly authentic. I'm cleaning house. 
I'm going to do a divisional break. Th six spots. $30 a spot. 30 bucks a spot. Small little break. Not much. Not, not like the Sapphire. Who knows what we'll get. Who knows? Clearly Authentic could have monsters. That is a slab rooney. And then uh, who knows what comes out of the diamond cake. Could be a cut signature from the old timers. So if you're interested, let me know. I'll put you down. <clears throat> And for a second, I want to talk a little bit about what I'm going to be putting on the website. Thank you to Kelly Mike coming up with this idea. The the bring bring a dish to pass break is coming live to the lunchroom and the lunchroom is going to execute it at the best of its ability. The potluck break the potluck lunchbox break created by Kelly Mike is going to be coming. I'm going to be putting it up. This is the idea. This is this is the best idea I've heard as far as crowd sourcing goes, as far as breaking cards go. Let me try to get this all. Let me frame this good for you. Do you want to get into a break where you don't have to pay the breaker any money? Yes, everybody. Yeah, sign me up. I'm raising my hand over here. I, I, I don't have a lot of that money stuff. Well, some people do. I don't. I got some pretty, uh, pretty empty pockets. Anyways, so the idea is everybody that contributes, everybody that wants to join this break, the way you pay into the break is by sending two blaster boxes to the breaker. It's called. It's going to be called the potluck break. It's like going to going to cousin Louie's backyard barbecue. It's a dish to pass. Everybody comes in with their own flavor of potato salad. Except uh, we're going to do the cardboard salad here. Uh, we're gonna. the The idea is fifteen folks. Okay, we're going to keep it at fifteen. I like the 15 mark. Could do 30. 30 would be wild. 30, we may do that. Let's try that. We're going to start small. Maybe get bigger. The potluck break is going to be 15 folks. And everybody gets two teams in a break. But everybody to get into the break has to provide two blaster boxes. All right. To get into this break, you have to mail me two blaster boxes. Two blaster boxes of your liking. It doesn't matter what it is. I, I prefer it be baseball. But you know what a blaster box is. Blaster box right here. There's a blaster box. They're, they are obtainable in retail. I heard that you can go to Barnes & Noble and buy this. I hear you can go to Cracker Barrel and buy a retail box. I hear you can go to... I remember the days of going to Target and Walmart and buying cards. But they're blaster boxes. They cost generally $20 a piece. The buy-in to the potluck is you sending me two blaster boxes. And the idea is once we have 30 blaster boxes, we'll random the teams to 15 people. Everybody will get two teams. And we break it. It's called a potluck break. Now, the kicker is, do you want to do more than two blaster boxes? That's on you. Say you've got, if you're like the lunch man, you've got cardboard sitting around that you're like, oh man, it's great cardboard, but you know what? Maybe I'll send this in and hand it out. Maybe it'll be part of the break. I, I, I'll put in some extras. A good way to what would not recycle cardboard, but repurpose the cardboard. What do you think of that, Randy? That sounds wonderful. You like that? Isn't that a cool idea? If any group could pull it off, it's going to be this lunch crew because we have the best community in cardboard. Really do. We really do.
Yeah, I don't know if this one's going to take. So I hope you, I know Brem's already set. Well, it's coming up on the four o'clock arrow. I think I gotta. I gotta go. You already sent your thirty. All right, yeah, I'll send it back. I I know Triple V. I I understand that. If you're interested, Triple V, due to your circumstances, I could make it work. I could definitely. I could definitely put a shoe in for you. I I, I will. I will help you out on that, Triple V. I don't know though. Um, I I know you're. I think you're deployed right now. But do they have Italian baseball cards? Is there Italian baseball league? Italiano. <laughs> Can you go to the Aviano Air Base and get yourself a blaster box? <laughs> well, you can get blasters, but they're totally different blasters. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Triple V. It, it, if you want in on it, I'll 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 help you. You you could do that. You could do that. You could send uh, blasters via third party store. I'll, I'll I'll tell you what, uh, Triple V. In your circumstance, if you want in on it, you tell me what blasters you want, and I will obtain them and put them in on your behalf. Still deployed. Still deployed. He's the Container Castle King, defending our freedom. Hopefully, it's not getting too gnarly out there. I don't know. All I know is what I read on, read on the news, and I don't read very well. Anyways, uh, if you're interested, we could definitely, I could definitely put your, I could put your hat into the the center. I'm gonna be putting this up. Uh, what I'll do is, um, I'm gonna put it on the website, and then uh, all the takers that want in, let me know. And then I, I think we're gonna do the first one. I, uh, Kaylee Mike said, like, do it on New Year's Eve. That would be a great idea. I think it's too good of an idea to wait till New Year's Eve. I want to get something together in the next month or so, in the next 30 days. Next 30 days, I think we could pull something together. And it would be fun to see what everybody wants to put in as far as two blasters go. Maybe you get a box of Absolute. Maybe you get a box of Bowman. Maybe you get a box of Tops. Maybe you get a box of, uh, you know, I don't know, Stadium Club. Maybe you get a box of Series 2. Maybe a box of 2018 Blaster. Let's fill something. Look at LFG. Our stuff doesn't make the news. <laughs> Well, what, uh, me being uncultured, uh, our stuff doesn't make the news. So. Oh, okay, I'm being I'm very uncultured. I was thinking of my, amongst the line of Italian baseball. What's the big sport in Italy? I know you're not. I know you're not in Italy at the moment, but Italy. If if we were back at the Italy, what is it? Soccer? Soccer, the big one, or a football? Football. That's me being uncultured. All right, let's take a look. It, it is it is soccer, isn't it? It's soccer is the main sport in Italy, isn't it? Well, it's a European sport. I'm very I'm very narrow minded. I have blinders. I'm gonna turn two. Nope. Grichik makes it to third. Well, Toronto's got runners on first and third right now. Well, that was a close call. 
top of the ninth, last ditch for Toronto. If they don't do it now, they won't do it at all. All right, I'm going to get a beverage. I'll be right back. We're going to try to get this $30 one going, or we could do this. If this doesn't fill, I will refund you guys. I'll send that back. No worries. But I'm going to get myself a cocktail. Un momento, por favor.
still here. All right, we're here. We're here. I made it back. I did. I did. I made it back, but I got something for you. Something I I've done before in the break. Hopefully, uh, there's still folks listening. I don't know if anybody's still here. I do have a $30 break that's on the website. 17 left until we go. I'll put it up here in the chat. But in the meantime, we're going to do a little extracurricular activities. So if you've never done this before, all right, this is a vodka glass full of ice, all right? Some folks may not do this like I do. But if by chance you have all these ingredients in your fridge, if you by chance have a glass full of ice and you happen to have some maraschino cherries uh, from the Wegmans without stems. Oh, there's no stems? Oh, man. Stemless maraschinos. I prefer the stem in. You don't have a glass of ice in your fridge? Well, some of us do. Some of us don't. I guess that's how she goes. There's some maraschino cherries. Why are they called maraschino? What is a maraschino? Real cherries may contain an occasional pit. Or pit fragment. Safety button pops up when original seal is broken. Maraschino cherries. And if you just happen to have some sweet vermouth, this is... Oh, this might be a product of Italy. Where does this is? Where does this come from? Bottled by Tribuno, Westfield, New York. Westfield? I don't have a fridge here. <laughs> oh, shucks. If you happen to have a bottle of... Sweet vermouth, that's Tredizone Autentica. Tredizone Autentica vermouth. Questo vermouth stato fatto solo con vini di prima qualità e erbe salete nella Tredizone della formula originale D. Mi tribuno. If you happen to have some uh, Angostura aromatic bitters around, this is strong stuff, too. 44.7 alcohol. And with all that, just a little bit of whiskey kicking around. This is brewed right here in Rochester. This is a local brewed whiskey. It's blended. It's the apex of youth, the age we lied about, the number card sharks dream of. The smartphone century, the amount of spots on a die, the salute fit for royalty, the recipe that's changing everything. This is blended recipe 21 whiskey. I've never read that before. It's the apex of youth, the age we lied about, the number card shark dream. Wait, a minute, the number, the number card sharks dream of the smartphone century, the amount of spots on a die, the salute for royalty. This is Recipe 21. It is blended here in Rochester, New York. I do know that. I actually worked. Here we go. Bottled by Ledestri Spirits, Rochester, New York. Um, I actually have a good friend that works at this place. So what you do, if you happen to come by this kind of ingredients, you put a little bit of that in there. Just a little, maybe just a little bit more. Okay, that's the start. And you do a little tribuno. Not much, not much, not much. Just a splash. 
Just a splash to get through. And this is the tricky part. This stuff likes to splur everywhere. I don't want to get this on our cardboard. I prefer stem in cherries. Uh, you got to get a little bit of this maraschino juice. And there you have it. Cheers. It's not vodka. It's definitely not vodka, but I'm drinking it in a vodka glass. That's a good drink. That's a good drink. That's a great drink. If you've never had it, I never respected it until about uh, about six months ago. I was more of a whiskey on ice guy when I was younger, but now I like this. I'm a big fan of it. If you've never had it, you got to try it. Hey, it's Clark Hentz, C. Hentz. I think it's Clark. Is it Clark, the first name? Clark Hentz? How are you, man? Hanging loose here in the lunch. I uh, I got I got the family upstairs. Kind of got involved with them for a second. Well, we're going to try to get... Our, we got this uh, chat filler we're trying to do. We got two folks that were in for it. Carter and Sandman. If anybody wants in, it's $30 a division. This is a throwback to 2020. Box of Clearly Authentic. A box of Diamond Kings 2020. Two boxes. That's a chat filler only. On top of that, we've got the $30 break of Mega Box of Jumbo Bowman. A box of Hit Parade. Three out of 100. There's only 100 of these made. This is a 2020 Series 20. There is some big boys that could be in that. Who knows? And then I upgraded the break. We're getting one. We're putting an absolute blaster right on top of it. Oh, that's a good drink. That's a good drink. That's a good drink. So what is everybody up to today? You want one? You want one, Triple V? All right, you got it. We know where Triple V is. He's he's uh he's for I'm I'm his entertainment for Saturday night. <laughs> he's he's in his container castle, not in Italy at the moment, but where did I put that? Triple V will take one. So there we go, 50% of the way. You you want one? Uh, Clark, if, if you want in on the chat filler. Wait a minute, why didn't that take? Where is that one? <laughs> he is stuck in a hot tin can palace. <laughs> Container. Oh, man. Part of uh, defending the, the, the free world. Um, if you want in on the chat filler, I'll, I'll tell you. There we go. We got it in there. If you want in on that. Oh, let me see if I get that back. Oh, no. I just lost it.
It's a divisional, only six spots, $30. You can send via PayPal or Lunchbox, however you choose. Uh, Clark, do you want in? Would you like, would, would you like to get a spot? You could send, I'll say send via lunchbox is my preferred way, but I'll take PayPal too. I'll put that in here. Yes, that is. So I'm I'm assuming you want one. Here, I'll put it into chat. This is my PayPal. Oh, oh. I'm going to put you down for one, Clark. Is it Clark or is it? What is it? C hence. Let me check my database. I think I, I think you've bought from me before. Clark, yes it is Clark from Ventura, California. It is Clark Hens. Boy, it was every once in a while my memory works wonders. Thank you. I see you just picked up a, a spot in the thirty dollar break. It's almost midnight where you are, huh, Triple V? Well, here's to the midnight hour. Four, five minutes till the midnight hour. Five minutes until 7-11. Five minutes where you are located till 7-11, huh? All right, thank you, sir. You're in. Clark. Got to get you a nickname, Clark. So we got four in, four in. Two to go, and we'll we'll break this open. This is the $30 division, only six, six spots. Diamond Kings and a box of Clearly Authentic. Four minutes until 7-Eleven where Triple V is. There's some kind of significance to that number, 7-Eleven. The, 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 the town I grew up in did not have 7-Elevens. We had what we call Dandy Mini Marts. Dandy Mini Marts. But it was essentially a 7-Eleven. Not much different at all. Went to 7-Eleven for the first time after work earlier. Well, you know, there's something to that then. It's all in the numbers, folks. All in the way you play the game. The steak and cheese rollers are pretty good. Not going to lie. <laughs> Boy, you know what? They put that funny meat. They put that funny meat out there on those rollers in the 7-Eleven. I, I can't say I, I dive into it, but boy, I do look at it. I do I do give it a good hard look. Hey, it's Doug Walker or team. Um I got two Doug, I got two things going on. I don't know who you are, but uh, welcome to the lunchroom. I got a Diamond Kings 2020 Diamond Kings and a box of Clearly Authentic. $30 a division, chat filler only. Wait a minute, how come that you didn't that didn't update with Clark Kent's? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> felt like a soy boy after, but it was all good. <laughs> Doug Walker, uh, I got two breaks going on right now that we're focusing on. I've got the one you see in front of you. It's a chat filler. If you're interested, I can put your name down. We, we got two until we break that. It's just two boxes from last year's stock. I got some old cardboard I want to get rid of. Clearly authentic in a box of 2020 Diamond Kings. It'd be a random division. That's there. And then uh, the uh, grand, the big boy is a Bowman box of three autographs. Jumbo, along with a hip parade, along with a free upgrade, not included in the price, coming out of the not-so-deep pockets of the lunchman, a box of absolute baseball. That's going to be thrown in there free of charge. That is your upgrade. And I will tell you what, if this fills, I will most likely bring back the game that we like to play here, the Shohei Chase game. If you've not played the Shohei Otani Chase game, it's a good one right here. The biggest, baddest dude to hit the baseball fields. It's the Shotani Chase game, which uh, features the Lunch Junior man. Yeah, it's thirty dollars per division. Thirty dollars per division. It's just a chat drop. So I got two thirty dollars going on here. Uh, and Doug, if you've never been here before, um, here's my website. I do have another one on the website. Let me take us over to my website. This is the Lunch Man's website. We broke this one yesterday, uh, the $20 break, but uh, that's in the past. This is the one I got in front of you. It's the $30 hit parade with a jumbo box with a upgrade. Also, in the lunchroom, this one was just added last night. It got a sapphire box, a mega box, and a jumbo. That's a little more than $30. That's going to be $35. And I do have more Bowman. I'm a Bowman addict here. I've got a list and a pack to the past. This one's been on there for a while. It's a $40 one. It's a Bowman draft box, three autos, and then a Bowman HTA Chrome from 2020. That's six Bowman autos coming out at you. I got to get 40 for that. That's where I'm at. I don't know where the prices are on that product now, but right now, oh, right now, that's what I got to get on that. Uh, and then on top of all that, I do have a check. Got two boxes of 2020, a box of Clearly Authentic, a box of Diamond Kings, and this beautiful Manhattan drink that I created. If you like to sip good booze, this is good stuff. Get yourself some. There was a saying that the, my friend that owns a bar here in Rochester, he owns an Irish bar. He's the one that turned me on to Tullamore Dew on the rocks. He said, the biggest problem with Manhattans is vermouth. Why would anybody ruin a good whiskey with vermouth? So that's why you have to get the cheap stuff. You get the blended 21, the blended whiskey, the recipe 21. And you get a 1.75 for $19.29. And you make your Manhattans. You don't use expensive whiskey on a Manhattan. The idea is, I think the whole idea is, you have to, uh, you, you got to get rid of the cheap stuff. Did we lose Doug? Doug was here, and Doug took a walk. He heard my voice for too much. He said, I'm getting out of here. 
This guy is a drunk lunatic. Correct. You are not wrong there, sir. Ahem. <clears throat> Well, did we lose everybody? Might be a couple people here. Hopefully we didn't lose everybody. Oh, Triple V, did you buy two spots? 60. I think Triple V just picked up two spots, so. Still here. Uh, Carter's still here. <laughs> well played. Well played. All right. Triple V's going to double, double down on this. What happened to that spreadsheet? So now we're one away. All right, I'm back. I just put in my order for dinner tonight. Oh, grab, no, one spot in chat and random filler. I'm here, lunch. I'll never leave you. <laughs> Brems. <laughs> if I could reach out and give you a virtual hug, Brems, I would do that. Mm, here we go. Mm. All right, so grab a spot in the 30 break webs. Oh, grab a spot in the $30 break on website as well. Do you want me to... I, I saw 60 come over there, Triple V. I assumed you wanted two. Um, okay. All right. We'll leave it there. I can feel the love, Lunch. <laughs> I got to get I gotta get the radio up. I haven't been banned on YouTube in a while. Get a, get a little bit of Elton John. Can you feel the love tonight? Grab a spot in the thirty. Uh, all right, Triple V. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I, I'm. I might be a little intoxicated. No one spot in chat and random filler. Grab a spot in the thirty dollar break on website as well. Well, I saw you send. You. I think you sent me sixty dollars. If you want me to put you in, I could put. You want the one on the website also? Okay, gotcha. Let's get this break. Is there nine folks in chat? I don't really watch how many people are in chat. Usually, every time I look at it, it's always wrong. Come on, folks. Let's let's get in. Let's break some cardboard. Let's get it all filled, man. I got to get some baseball up on the TV. Tigers and the Twins going at it. Bottom of the eighth. Twins are up five to four. I do not have access to play this game. Oh, well, go get out of the town, Jack. How about... Oh, well, Tampa Bay's done. Top of the fourth. How about the Athletics and the Rangers? All right. All right. Uh, 
what are we gonna watch, fam? I think my batteries are bad in this controller. Let's see if that fixes it. There, that did fix it. All right, what are we gonna watch? What? I'm a baseball holic. Uh, athletics and the Rangers. Why not? Or White Sox or the Orioles? Or Philly and the Red Sox, Atlanta and Miami, Pittsburgh and the Mets. I kind of want to watch the Philly-Boston game. We're at the, uh, at the Green Monster. Fenway, Henway, Shenway. Hey, there's Doug. He's here. Philly is on top of Boston, three to two, bottom of the third. We got a runner on third base. The tying run for Boston's on third, number five. Up to bat. He walked him. Xander Boogert's up to bat. Agreed, Doug. McGregor has lost the eye of the tiger. Well, I put money actually on McGregor. I put money on McGregor. Man, Xander Boogert's one of the best hitters in the league right now. Moore's looking at Bogerts right now. Rafael Devers on deck. Two out. Got three balls, zero strikes. What do you throw here? You can't do anything, coach. Let the guy play. All right, Moore's is going to look at him. He's got to throw a strike here. Oh, he missed it. He puts him on the plate. He's got room for him. All right, now... What you going to do, Girardi? They're going to pull the pitcher. You don't pull him now. Rafi Devers up to bat now. Base is loaded. Bottom of the third. Two outs. 
This is a storybook dream right here. Devers is going to take him downtown. They're not going to pull him. Rafael Devers is going to go for the... So did we lose the mojo? I think we did lose the mojo. Rafi Devers betting 286. 22 dingers. 72 ribbies. Right down the gut. Oh, this is a... This is a man, I can't believe Devers didn't take that to the... To the chowder house. And McCutcheon makes the catch. And the bases are no longer loaded. The side has retired. Joy Bart is in the lineup for the Giants tonight. Kind of cool. We're so close. There's got to be two more cardboard junkies like us out there. Two more folks, if you want thirty dollars a division, we'll do this chat one, and then I might, I might bring it down for just a heartbeat. I got, I gotta mess around with my children for a bit. Kind of want to do something with the kids. What time is the San Francisco game? San Francisco playing uh, today. Best team in the league, so says the standings. All right, here we go. I got something for chat. If you guys are still here with me, let's do this. All right, I'm, I want to find this out because I don't know this well. What are the rules for the Home Run Derby? The Home Run Derby, I believe, is on Tuesday. Peanut butter and jelly, burgers and fries, the Home Run Derby's in Coors Field. Some things are incredible on their own, but pretty much perfect in a particular pairing. So it is... With this alignment of event and environment that arrives with Monday's T-Mobile Home Run Derby at the famously Homer Helpful home of the Colorado Rockies. This all-star game appetizer to be broadcast at 8 p.m. Oh, it's Monday. My bad, Monday. Hit the ball hard over the fence, right, Victor? Hit the ball hard over the fence. This all-star game appetizer to be broadcast at 8 p.m., Eastern Standard uh, Monday on Ia Espen will feature the Angels Shohei Otani, the Mets Pete Alonso, the Rockies Trevor Story, the Nationals Juan Soto, the Rangers Joey Gallo, the Beatdown Orioles Trey Mankini, the A's Matt Olson, and the Royals Salvador Perez taking aim at the major's most notoriously hitter friendly ballpark. And with the Derby once again utilizing a variation of the fantastic format first instituted in 2015, they'll be doing it on the clock. Now, I believe there's people that that remember this. When I was a kid, I remember the Home Run Derby being televised on TV. Now, I wasn't alive during the original broadcast. But I remember watching the reruns of the Home Run Derby. And I think they had, when was that originally aired? I believe that was 1950s. It was when the Washington Senators were a team. And I remember seeing like Harmon Killebrew. The original Home Run Derby it used to be a TV show. They actually had a prime time spot. Home run derby original. Like 
60s. It was the 60s. It was directed by... Who was the announcer? It was a syndicated... Hank Aaron was on it. Any ball not hit for a home run was an out, including called strikes. Who are some of the players? Hank Aaron, Bobby Allison, Ernie Banks, Ken Boyer, Bob Serve, Rocky Calavito, Gil Hodges, Jackie Jensen, El Clean, big fan of his batteries, rip in peace. Harmon Killebrew, that's what I said, the Washington Senators. I, boy, I remember Harmon Killebrew. Uh, Jim Lamont. Mickey Mantle, I heard of him. Eddie Matthews, heard of him. Willie Mays Hayes. <laughs> Wally Post. Frank Robinson. Duke Snyder. He was a slugger from, he was L.A., right? Duke Snyder. The Duke Flatbush. Dick Stewart. And Gus Triandos. It was originally aired. When was it aired? A 1960 television show that was held at Wrigley Field in Los Angeles. Pitting the top sluggers against each other nine-inning home run contest. The show was produced and hosted by actor-broadcaster Mark Scott and distributed by Zib Television Programs. Filmed in December 1959, the series aired in syndication from January 9th to J July 2nd and helped inspire the home run derby that is now held the day before the All-Star Game. I don't know if you guys remember this, but I remember. I watched that. Anyways, in recent derbies, we've been we've seen Todd Frazier, Giancarlo Stanton, Aaron Judge, Brick Harper validate the use of timed rounds with epically entertaining performances featuring buzzer beaters and frantic feats of strength. And the 2019 semifinal slugfest between Vladimir Guerrero Jr. and Jacques Peterson before Alonzo wound up beating Guerrero in the finals was an all-timer. I do remember that one. I watched that one. Uh, I'm not going to read this. How are the seeds decided? All right, here's the format. It's a super bum jock isn't on the Dodgers anymore, right, Clark? How about Jock Peterson? Where is Jock Peterson these days? He's over in Chicago these days, right? Isn't he in uh, the Cubbies? Yeah, the Cubs. Yep, he, he ended up on the Cubs. I know, Jack Peterson's a beast, dude. Will it be all right in the end, Jock? Indeed, indeed, sir. It's a single elimination bracket system with three rounds total. In each bracket, the higher seed hits second. Batters will have three minutes per round in the first and second rounds and two minutes in the final round. The clock starts with the release of the first pitch, and the round ends when the timer strikes zero. Went to the Dodger game last night, and of course they lost to the Diamondbacks. How do you lose to the Diamondbacks? Well, that's funny. Congrats on going to the Dodger game. Uh, well, I've I've uh, had the opportunity to go to a Blue Jays game. Might go to another one. Texas Rangers and the Blue Jays are playing in Buffalo next week. I may make my way out there. Maybe I could see. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can find tickets. Let's find tickets online here.
Yeah, they're playing the Rangers next weekend. Wouldn't mind seeing the Bo Sox, but I don't think they're going to be during the week. So the 17th of next week. Saturday of next week. Oh man, that sounds great. Let's see. Let's see what kind of tickets I can find. Right here is where I sat the last time I went out. Oh, there's only six seats left. Oh my, boy, it's selling out. Let's see here. Let's get tree. Boy, it's filling up. I want to get out here. I actually like the looks of these ones out here, right by the bullpen. How many's out here? Oh boy, lots. Do I want to do it out here? Wide open. Lots of room here at this ballpark on Saturday next week. It is. I bet they're selling as it is. Let's check back here. Boy, lots of seats open. You know what? Let me try. Let's do 110. One, two, three. 79. Nope, nope. Ain't doing it for 79. Can't do that. No, no, thank you. Boy, that, that is filled. How much are these ones over here? One, two, three. 39 apiece? Ish. Where's the 29 ones? So right here is the 29. Oh, you know what? I'll take two 29 seats out here. I kind of like these seats. I don't know. Don't know if I'm going to go. Anyways, back to the cardboard at hand. I don't know if this is going to go. I don't know if this is going to go. We need two more folks. I got you. You gonna you gonna finish it triple? I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'll tell you what. We're breaking this. Don't, Triple V, don't send any over. I got you. I got it. We're going to fill this. Thanks to the 
dedication and the people in the chat. I'm going to give, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. I'm going to give Triple V one more. And we're going to give Brems one more. All right, we're full. We're full. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, you sent already. All right, well, good. Did you send for two? You did. He filled, he filled it. All right, never mind. Take it back, Brems. You lost out. Triple V's gonna take Triple V's got third half of this the cardboard out of here. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your service and thank you for the support. You are the man. You are the one that makes the dreams come true. Just grab those last two spots. It's all you. All right, let's roll the dice. Get you guys some random teams. Let's see what we can pull out of here. And if you're liking what you're seeing, there's a six and a one. What I should have could. I, actually, I'm going to uh, give Triple V, as always, coming in clutch. We're going to go seven times. Seven says the dice. Let's get you guys some teams here. NL East. N L Central N L West A L East. I always start from the east, right? Why why do I do that? Is that because I live in the east? Thank you, Triple V. Let's let's indeed let's enjoy this. Is it a wait I gotta ask the folks from California. I don't know if Carter's still here. Brems, I know you're from the west side of the continent. Do you when you explain the baseball divisions, do you start from the west and then go sent to the east? Or do you go east west or west to east? You're supposed to start with you're supposed to start with north. If you're talking A lot of folks don't know this. I'm from, oh, all right. So Triple V, and you're 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 a California guy. You're a West, yeah, you are a West Coastian, aren't you? Do you start from the West, go to the, and then to the East, West to East, or East to West? It's East to West. That, that's the way I was raised. But I'm a New Yorker. I'm East Coast bias. Anyways, we're going to go seven times. Let's get you guys into the randomizer seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Triple V on top, Brems on the bottom. Bring it over here. There is the randomized list. Triple V, Triple V, Carter Sanders, Triple V, Clark Kent, and Brems. Hope we haven't scared Clark away. And let's get you a division. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. NL West on top, AL Kentrell. On the bottom -o. There we go. Let's bring it over here so you can see it a little better. Maybe not. There it is. <laughs> you feel like you're at a blackjack table and it's a dealer in me. <laughs> As a man that has done that in a casino, it's kind of the way it is. We 
What was I listening to? Mitch Hedberg talk about if I was a blackjack dealer, I would get a tattoo with an ace and a king. But since I'm not a dealer and I am playing the blackjack, I would get a tattoo of an ace and a three. <laughs> Every time I played blackjack in my life, I've never had 21. Never. Big fan of the blackjack game, too. Blackjack, great, great game. You love going heads up against the blackjack table. Bremer's the guy. Bremer's the right guy. He's got the right mojo. Man, I tell you what, I'll tell you what would be a good time if we could ever make this happen. If we could get the lunch crew together in one one logistical location and all of us go storm into a casino, holy Hannah, lock down, lock down those slots because we're, we, we've got the luck on our side. Me, myself, I, I like the blackjack and blackjack has the best chances of taking the house. You you can get you can actually beat the house. Some folks can count cards. I don't have that many brain cells. I think my son could count the cards. My son has a photographic memory, which is amazing. Um, but my my play at a casino though is the roulette. I cannot get away. I love. I can I can spend a day at a roulette table. There's something about that that ball spinning around that wheel that I hate and love all at the same time. Hide your kids, hide your wife when the lunch crew rolls through. <laughs> what would we do? I'll tell you what. I, I <laughs> well, you know what? Most of the casinos they kind of uh they start putting out the potatoes at the at the buffet when I show up, man, because I'll go right for the crab legs. <laughs> As a man. <laughs> That is a uh, big bone. I got a lot of bones to fill. And, uh, man, I love a good casino uh, buffet. All right, let's go slab first. Thank you, everybody. I hope, hope I still I got Triple V and Brems in the house. <laughs> you like to ask the dealer what the card count was to throw them off. That's some head games right there, Triple V. Head games with the, the blackjack dealer. What's the card count? Well, don't they do this? Don't they use like... I, I don't know much about casinos, really. I don't. But don't they... Do they only use 52 in a in a blackjack game? Or do they use like three or four decks? Do they combine like four decks together? I swear I thought I've seen that. Speaking of that, let's see. Let's, we're going to get to cardboard. But if you had this, all right. That was your hand. What, what do you do? What do you do on that? If you had that in blackjack. So what? King's up. Six is down, right? Depends on the casino. You stay. You stay on 16. I would hit the sugar out of that. You would stay on 16? Ask for a better hand? <laughs> I would hit that. I would hit that. And then I'd get this. Hit. There we go. There's there's my blackjack hand all together. That's called 24. We're not playing 21, 24. Ask for a better hand. <laughs> you would stay? Oh, man. I, I Now I'm jonesing for blackjack. I, man, I love me some blackjack. Man, I'm horrible at it. I am horrible. Depends on what the dealer is showing. That's right, Triple V. See, I'm thinking one-dimensional, and it is. It's a standoff. It's a it's a mano a mano, and the dealer what what what's the house rules on a casino? The dealer stays on seventeen or higher. 
I believe that's it, right? They they don't go they won't hit if they have 17 or higher. So if the dealer rolls a 19, that's that's the mark. But it does depend on the dealer's hand. See, that's the that's the 2D part of it. <laughs> then ask the dealer what they have. Well, what do you have? <laughs> you know what? I, I'm a friendly guy. I could I could be friends with the dealer. Be like, hey, so how are your kids doing? And he's like, Yeah, oh, you know, Tommy's in Little League. I'm like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, in the playoffs? Oh good. What what cards do you have? <laughs> I believe the dealer has to stay on 17. Or is it 16 or higher? 17 or higher? I can't remember. Anyways, let's 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 bring our blackjack and man, I'm jonesing for blackjack now. All right, let's go. We're gonna do. Should we do a slap first or slap second? Let's do slap first. Slap first. Diller has to hit a 16 or soft 17. Slab first. We're going in, baby. We're going in. Cajonis first. We are going in commando style. Got it all hanging out there. We're going right in for the slab. Don't matter. <laughs> Let's just break some cardboard. All right, here we go. What do we got here? Oh, man, that's a big one. I don't know if it's a big one. I like it. I like it. That's not one you see a lot. Maximo Kepler of the Minnesota Twins. Wow, the 85 tops throwback. Clearly authentic card. Holy Hannah. Kepler is a beast. Mad Max of the Minnesota Twins. Like that one. That's not a that's not that's a rare card. Is that numbered? It's not numbered. But man, wow, what a great great player, great card. And that's going to you, Brems. AL Central, Minnesota. I like it. I like that a lot, man. You know, that's not that's not the Cedric Mullins right there. That's a Mac Mad Max. I still like the twins. I, I had them to win the World Series last year. They did not do that. Man, look at it. Look at his ink work. He, he signed right on the crotch. Well played, Max. That's a crotch, Sig. I like that card a lot, man. <laughs> man, that's a beaut. That's a beaut, Clark. I forget I have this stuff. I think we better split up. Good idea. Yeah, we can do more damage that way. All right, all right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get you guys the Diamond Kings. This is Saturday night in the Container Castle. The Tin Can Hero. Triple V. And Brems, the Blackjack Junkie. Not, not the Junkie. <laughs> I don't say that. The Blackjack Champion. All right, here we go. 2020 Diamond Kings coming at you live right after Maximo Kepler came out. Here we go. Let's see what kind of cardboard we can bring in this divisional break. We're going to start right off with the the guy who cut his hair. Looks like he's got it tucked up into a cummerbund in this picture. Underneath the hard hat. Either that or it's just a really bad editing to get the Phillies logo off. Bricky Harper. Carl Erskine. The Brooklyn Dodgers, I believe. Isan Diaz. Hank Greenberg. Kurt Schilling. I can't wait till I can get home. I got all these cards waiting for me. Triple V. Triple V, that's going to be amazing. Uh, oh, there's Javi Baez. Um, I, I, there is a return fire package at your place from um, the, the House de la Lunch. 
I don't believe you've gotten into it yet. How about that Chicago Cubs? Javi Baez got pulled from a game from having situation awareness deficit. There was a pop fly that went up. Javi was on first. He ran to third because he's a good boy. <laughs> and they threw him out, got a double play, and they the 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 coach benched his ass. Said Javi Baez is having a situational awareness breakdown. You don't run when the it's, you don't run when there's only one out. He's playing little league. Yadier Molina. Yeah, Triple V, your mail day is going to be great. Uh, you you got to you should get a get your phone up and videotape your opening. That's going to be awesome. You, you you always get great cardboard. Frank Baker, Lewis Robert rookie card. I don't know Robert is as hot as he was last year, but we'll uh-oh, I see the lunch children wandering in here. What's going on, kids? Want to come say hi? Yeah. Hi, everyone. Say hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Come on. What do you got to say? What What are you guys doing? Um, we're going to go eat dinner. Oh, you're no, eating dinner? No, what are you having for no. dinner? Dinner just arrived. We actually got Mark's chicken fingers and fries. You got chicken fingers and fries? Yeah, from yeah. Mark's. Oh, yummy. And they also have the crunchy thing. I got chicken and fingers and fries, too. Oh, you did, too? Why do you have to make me think I'm Why are you touching all my things? What? You're going to eat all those cherries out of there? What? No, she, she didn't. These, these are not real. Dad. What? These are not real cherries. These are real cherries. They are real cherries. <laughs> Say say hello, chicken fingers and fries. Nice, getting hungry. Yeah. Everybody says, "Hey, lunch kids." Well, you're not a cat. <laughs> Do you think you are? Oh yeah. I think I'm a puppy. You think you're a puppy? I'm a cat. You're a cat. I'm no animal. You're no animal. Nope. That's the kind of animal you are. A no animal. <laughs> He's not going to be an animal. You guys Ow. think you're animals, don't you? <laughs> I'm a parrot. You're a so, parrot? I'm a parrot that copies you. You, you, you want a cracker? I, I want a cracker. <laughs> Do I want a cracker? <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Be well. Smell you kids later. All right. After this, I'll come up. Bye. Smell you later. We're gonna go All right. I'll, I'll be right there. You want you want to come over and say hi? Yeah. What do you got to say? What's the big thing going on in baseball right now, Junior? Uh, I don't really know. Yeah, you do. Did you watch the highlights today? Otani. No. Otani? No, I didn't see anything. All right. Let's get back to the cardboard you deserved. Hey, it's Sean for Texium. Cody Bellinger. Hey, uh. Guys, uh, chicken fingers and fries are better than the meals Triple V's getting. He's way across the pond. He's probably eating meals out of a bag. Hello. You ever eat m food out of a bag? Hello. No, no, you don't want it. No. Cody Bellinger. But we get stuff from out of the bag. You do get stuff out of the bag. Bill Terry of Votto still knows baseball. Christy Matthewson. And Mr. October himself, Reggie Jackson, the creator of the Reggie Bar. Not as popular as the Babe Ruth Bar, but there was a Reggie Bar. MREs, yikes. That's what that's what Triple V's ripping. <laughs> MREs, meals ready to eat. <laughs> Except it's meals ready <laughs> to not. Nobody's ready to eat an MRE. Is that what MRE stands for? Do I have that right? MRE, meals ready to eat? What What's what's the premier MRE? I think if I've seen videos, the, the mac and cheese, 
Is it the mac and cheese that everybody digs on the MREs? Sam Rick. I, I, I'll have to say, I've never partook on an MRE. Meals really expired. <laughs> Meals really expired. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Meals really expired. Stan Musial. We got Ted Williams, Edwin Rios, Los Angeles, a big meter Peter, <laughs> Grover Alexander, and here comes our cardboard hit. Ooh, that's a nice one. Holy Anthony K, Toronto BJs. That's going to go to the AL East. Carter Sanders, the Sandman, the Sandaroonie. I don't think he's with us. Man, I really like the 2020 Relic Auto. That's a great looking card. It's soft. It's got a soft texture. Light blue, white. Mm, mm, mm. Great looking card. Congratulations, Carter. That's coming your way. Anthony K. Uh, I, I don't know where Anthony K is right now. Is he up or is he down? I, uh, je ne sais pas. Seems this more people just showed up. <laughs> hey, uh, I mean, if you guys are interested, which I am, there's the Iron Man, Kelly Ripkin, and Ken Giffey Jr., uh, this $30 break right behind me is on the website, Hit Parade. I, it's been upgraded with Absolute and a Jumbo Beaumont. You're not going to be disappointed. There's going to be good cardboard that comes out of there. Get that $30 website break going. Up to nine folks now. There's nine folks in here. And it's like, it's like Brem's. Triple V and Clark. It's just us three at the uh, blackjack table, the cardboard table. Zach Collins, Mool Suttles, Willie Castro, Aaron Sivale, Frank the Tank Thomas, the Big Hurt, Walter Elston, and there, wow, there we go. The man of 2021. Can't deny his mythical... His mythical performance this year. The guy is legit from Asia. The Otani Showtime. Joey Morgan. Wait a minute. Wasn't Joe Morgan a pitcher? No, I'm thinking of Bob Gibson. I'm thinking Bob Gibson. All right, next pack. Let's get that $30 website break going. Let's go. How many do we have left? 16. 16. We're about at the half wave mark. You did, Carter. Welcome back. Welcome back. Look at you. You got an Anthony K. Gorgeous looking piece of cardboard. If I do say so myself. Little Toronto down there. The Buffalo BJs. I don't know where Anthony K is right now. I don't think he's up right now. I think he I think they got him down, but I don't remember seeing him. I know Nate Pearson is down. Cause Junior Lunch saw him play against the Red Wings. Harvey Kuhn, Javi Baez, suffering from situational awareness more than I have. Elston Howard, Tony Gonsolin. They put him in the other day as a pinch runner. That's pretty funny. Damagio and Ken Giffey Jr. with a smoke color border. AL West. There you go, Triple V. That one is coming your way. Nep LaJoye and Roberto Alomar. I remember Elmar. Wasn't he in Expo? Montreal. 
Do the players in these divisional get a shot at the Otani chase? I'll tell you what. We'll do it. We'll do the Otani chase. Just the people in divisional, I'll give you an Otani chase program. I got them right here. I got them sitting right here. I'm ready to do a chase it again. We uh, left over from yesterday. And you know what? There's not bad cards in here for free giveaway, but there's that Otani card. We're 0 for 2. Got a Queen O. I got this Yaschemski in there, Chapman. There, Roberto, we just pulled an Alomar, and there's another Alomar. He was a Buffalo BJ. Uh, Louis Robert, nice Bieber card and a Chapman. But the big card in there is the rookie card of Otani. That's the chase. Yes, let's do it. Anthony K is pitching against the Rays right now. Oh, all right. So he is. He is up. Yu Chang, Gavin Lux, rookie card. Lux is not looking too shabby these days. He's he's got himself a spot on the roster. Goldie Goldschmidt. Impersonation is the finest form of flatterte. Jordan Alvarez, rookie card. Still got more to see out of this guy. Rookie of the year in 2019. These days, DHing right out of the gun. Rookie of the year and now a DH, but he's a slugger. He can slug. Apparently, he can't catch the ball. Bricky Harper, Gallery of Stars, and Aaron Judge. Seems. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, that, Triple V, I think that game happened earlier today. I think it's over. But if Anthony K was on the bump, then, um, yeah, he's up. When I went and saw Toronto play, it was Hyun Jiru. It was the Asian guy that was on, was pitching for Toronto. I don't know who their ace is. They, I don't know if Toronto has an ace. The the Asian guy was was it Hyun Jiru? Like Jordan, hate the Astros. <laughs> Robbie Ray is probably the best Jays pitcher. Yeah, high in Jin Ryu. I saw him pitch. I like Alec Manoa. Robbie Ray, you think Robbie Ray's their guy? Robbie Ray used to be a Diamondback, right? I like Alec Manoa. He's still kind of young. I think Alec Manoa is going to be the big boy. There's a Nico Horner. Is High Engine Ryu, though, their starter? Is that their number one spot? I think Ryu, the Asian guy. I saw him pitch against the Orioles, and he did a hell of a job. Edbert Elsley. Trish Speaker, he may be left, he may be right. He may just be a World Series ring holder. Pitched in the World Series and won. Splitting time with Gonsolin. Ryu did great, man. I'm a, I don't I don't consider Ryu though as a uh I don't consider him a triple A pitcher. When I saw him on the bump, he was great. Baltimore couldn't hit off them. The Toronto ended up winning fourteen to four that game, and they didn't score any. They didn't score any runs until they took Ryu off the mound. It was the relief pitchers that let up all the runs. Here we go. Here's Dreamy Eyes himself, the Bregmaster, Bregman, and Frank the Tank Thomas. All right, next pack. Roger Maris, Dylan Keese, 
Roberto Clemente Madison Bumgarner. There's an old old hurler like like the bums. Eddie Matthews Malat and Rendon suffering from the hammy in the zone with the hammy and Blake Snell. The former Tampa Bay pitcher now hurling for the Padres. Still call it right now. I'll say it now and I'll say it again as long as I live. They should not have pulled him last year in the World Series. Analytics. Tampa Bay lives and dies by the analytics. They took one across the sword shield. Analytics said pull Blake Snell. So the coach pulled Blake Snell when he was having a great game. What was it? Game six of the World Series? Pulled him in the sixth inning. I don't know. I remember six for some reason. Should not have pulled him. Blake Snell's an ace. Brian Abreu, DiMaggio, Tyrone Taylor, Sam Hilliard, Carl Hubble. Oh, I like his telescope. Uh, I've heard of it. It's a big one. And Bricky Harper coming in with a smoke-colored border. Go Dodgers. Ah, Clark, the Dodgers fan coming in. As a, as a Yankee fan, I had to root for the Rays. I, I like the Rays, I do. Something about that water in Tampa Bay. Something about it. I think Tom Brady decided he liked the water there, so he brought home the the the, the what, what do we call it? The trophy. The um, well, not the Stromboli, but why am I kind of trying to think of Stromboli? Maybe I'm hungry. If you're not going to let your ace go out there at that moment, what's the point, right? Blake Snell, Blake Snell, without a doubt, was the well. I, Glasnow, I'm I'm a big Glasnow fan, and I like Blake Snell too. I'd say Blake Snell was better than Glasnow. They gave Glasnow the nod for the opener for the World Series. He was he was a little hotter than Snell, but I think Snell's the well. Snell won the Cy Young what in 2018. Snell's an ace, and he was winning the game, and they pulled his butt because analytics said so. Um. But something about that Tampa Bay water, right? Uh, Tom Brady brings home the championship for the football team. The Lightning's just won the 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 Stanley Cup, not the Winston Cup. They didn't win. They didn't. They didn't win the Winston Cup. They won the Stanley Cup. Good old Stanley down there. Now is Tampa Bay going to bring the World Series home? I don't know. Oh, is Snell on the IL? I haven't seen much from him. Well, hey, what's up with this guy? Brems, you're a baseball guy. Now he's in the Dodgers division. I know what Snell is. Love Snell. I'll tell you what, Tampa, uh, for for San Diego picking up Darvish and Snell, there's no reason why they shouldn't be in the World Series. They, uh, You're a Dodgers fan, I know, but... <sighs> what's up with Verlander? Mr. The balls are juiced, and now I don't play baseball anymore. Uh, Mrs. Mr. Upton, right? That's Kate Upton's wife. Where are you, Justin? He had the Tommy John. He should be back by now, though. Is it two years recovery. My balls are juiced. Oh, Holly Petty just added a new photo. All right, Holly. Thanks. My balls are juiced, but I'm not playing. Ricky Ticky, Ricky Ticky Henderson. Yeah, San Diego getting Darvish and Snell. It's my favorite move. I like both those pitchers. They're great, great pitchers. And this is a thing that goes between me and my baseball homies around here. Pitching wins championships. And I would say the Dodgers won their championship last year because of their pitching. You got Kershaw, Buehler, and uh, the May and Gonsolin, Domingo Leba, Jamie Fox, Burt Blilililovin, Abraham Toro. There, there he is, Clayton. Pitching. The Padres young players worry me. <laughs> yeah, they got some good ones there. Pitching wins championships is my fantasy baseball motto. There's Trout, 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 Trout. 
I mean, it's all the, the, no. Everybody loves seeing a slugger up to bat. There ain't no denying that. I like chomping out a hot dog in the fifth stadium, sucking down a beer and watching the dingers fly across the the pond. But man, pitching pitching wins the games. It really does. Vladdy Dog Guerrero Jr. I think that's a short print because it's at the end of the pack. I don't know. I'm gonna top load anyways. Two packs to go. Two packs. Two packs. Two hits coming. We do have another relic inbound. There should be one more relic left. Is this the relic pack? I don't know. There's Yelich. Heck Wilson. Aaron Nola. Bambino. We were talking about this last night, my, my neighbor. About Babe Ruth showing up for work every day at the ballpark. Drunk as a skunk, and he what did he do? Eat like six hot dogs. What a time! What people don't understand, uh, Babe Ruth, what kind of life he lived. Babe Ruth was like on the level of like a Johnny Depp or something like that, like a triple A actor, or Hank, Hank, you know, uh, Tom Hanks. He's like Babe Ruth was your entertainment in the day. People didn't have TV back then. They watched the ball games. And Babe Ruth was the star of the show. Chris Bryant. And how about we talked about him. We we summoned him. How about a quad relic from Mr. Upton himself? Four napkins. Houston Astros. That is AL West. Triple V. Congrats. You got the Tommy John boy. No, my entertainment is lunchbox. <laughs> Crazy times. We summoned Verlander. We did. We didn't. We. I, I'm. I'm. I'm calling it. We talked. We. Like, come on, Justin. We're bring your juice balls back out onto the bump. Quad napkin relic. Congrats, Triple V. There is our second hit out of the box. Vladito. With the pellet and the Bambino. Oh, and we already did those ones. Last pack, Mojo, and then we're gonna move right over. Clark, you have not experienced this. You're gonna you're gonna join in. You're you're in on this. If everybody's in chat, Triple V, Carter, Clark, and Brems, we're gonna do an Otani chase. We're gonna do the Otani chase. Created in the lunchroom and perfected in the lunchroom. Last pack, Brem, Brem saying this is where it's all at. All right, Logan Allen. I can't believe we pulled him. The Cleveland Steamers, Logan Allen, T. Cobb. The, that better from up to... <laughs> Mr. Mendick, boom, case hit. <laughs> Mr. Rochester, New York himself, Danny Mendick. Best mustache in baseball. Right here. Rochester, New York. Lives Rochester, New York. He is from the place I broadcast from. That is the last pack mojo. I'm going to call it right there. That is the best card in the whole box. Joey Wood, if he could. Ding, ding, ding. Ring that bell. Don't catch the fly ball that Tatis hit up, though, Josh. The Iron Man, Kelly Ripken, and T. Cobb, three chowsen card. I knew, and there's the Reggie bar. I remember seeing a Reggie bar at a grocery store. I'm that old. Right there, case hit, boom, shakalaka, Mendic. I'm telling you right here, the Mendic master. Big fan of the Mendic here in the lunchroom. Always have been, always will be. Along with uh, Cedric Mullins, huh? you know what? You foresee your fantasies. Have these readily available. Available. I show these off whenever I can. Cedric. 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 
Love me some Cedric Mullins right now. And Cedric Mullins is blazing the Orioles on fire. He's he's the best hitter. He's in the number one spot. Cedric. $20. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, Triple V. Thank you, Carter. Thank you, Clark. Thank you, Brems, for doing that. And my continued thank you is what we're going to do next. We're going to chase the Otani. I'll t I, I do think that was the big one, though. I like that Max Kepler. That I don't see many of his autos. I don't see many Kepler autos. All right, let's do this. All right, if, if you guys are not in this break here, get in it. $30. If we fill that, we'll bust that wide open. We got a hit parade, a jumbo Bowman, and then an absolute box free upgrade out of my not-so-deep pockets. But let's do this now. This We're going to go to the Otani chase. If I still have all of you in chat, we're going to chase the Otani. If you've not done this before, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, we're going to chase Otani here. You're welcome, Brummer. Appreciate you. Appreciate you joining in. All right, so everybody in chat, everybody that is not in chat, I'm sorry, everybody that was in that last break, Triple V, Carter, Clark, and Brems, I'm going to put you on the wheel of doom. Do we still have Carter? Did Carter take off? If Carter's not here, it's not going to work. All right, we'll put Carter in here. All right, here we go. So, four of you folks. We're going to chase the Otani here. You get a 1 in 12 chance to get the Otani. Triple V, you're on the docket. Oh, oh. Pick a number 1 through 12. I'm going to shuffle them up. 1 through 12. First one up. Seven in the lucky spot. All right, here we go. Move the camera down a little. There we go. That's where I keep my slings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got the Carlos Carrera. Chrome Stadium clone card going to triple V. Box that up. Let's see where that eight, nine, ten, eleven. He was in the 12 spot. In the 12 spot, Otani is sitting back in the 12 hole. Can't go wrong with Korea. Great solid base. Second, second baseman, right? Or is he shortstop? I really think of him as a second baseman. Carlos Correa. Probably the garbage can hero going to Triple V. All right, back to the Wheel of Doom. All right, Brems. One through 11, pick the card. One through 11, one through 11. Nine, he wants a nine. There's Biebs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's funny. Eight and nine, you got the yes. You got the yes card. That's been sitting in there for a while. That's a beautiful card. Congrats on the Yaz Relic card, the Yastrzemski, the Green Mile Monster Slugger. Not a bad card, not the Otani. The, the Yaz has been in there for a while. It's a great card. Uh, throwback from yesteryear. 
Right, go Brems. Coming to you. All right, let's take it back. It's going to be either Carter or Clark. I don't know if Carter's still here. So, Carter, speak now or never get your card board. Because Clark's going to take your spot. You there, Carter? All right. No signs of Carter. So, Clark, Clark, you are next in line. Pick a number one through ten. You get a one in ten shot at that Otani rookie card. Is Clark going to get the new guy mojo? Is this it? Is this the time? Pick a number one through ten, Clark. Four. All right, let's see. He's got the four. Frank the Tank Thomas is up. One. Two is Bieber. Three is Louis Robert. Four is Jake Lamba. Foil card. Did not happen. Where was the Otani sitting? Five, six, seven, eight. Not, he was in the 10 spot. Man, I it must be I'm not shuffling them very good. That's why I'm not a blackjack dealer. They keep the aces on the back, apparently. That was two times in a row. Otani's in the back spot. But you got the Jake Lamba foil card. There you go, Clark. That's for you. And Carter, if you're there, get your spot. You have a one in nine chance. Better odds than most folks. yourself a Otani, but there we go. Clark Kentz, I got you. That's your Lamba card. There we go. You forgot to ask the dealer. Hey, dealer, where where's that Otani at? Well, um, at this point, I've been going at this three hours and 39 minutes. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to uh, I'm gonna try to promote that uh, that box. I do have to go upstairs and spend a little time with the family. We got 16 left. We're about halfway. I'll uh, I'll Twitter ditter this thing. Right here is the break that we'd like to see today. There are other ones though, but th this is the big one. 16. Well, not the big. The one in focus, I should say. They're all big. They're all important. Um. Also, this one here is getting some traction. Just put up yesterday. I got a, lots of Bowman there. Triple V, thank you so much for everything. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your support. You're, you're a pleasure to be with in the chat room. You have a good night. Hope that tin can keeps you well tonight. We got 16 left to go on this. And uh, 25 on this one. I'll break either one. But uh, at that, I'm going to sign it down. I got to I gotta get some, uh, I got to go do some family time. I will be on later tonight, probably late night. Late night. Get ready for the late nights. I'm going to Twitter this out. But with that, I'm going to bring it down. Be well and smell well. We'll see you around the lunch.